Warning, some viewers may be too serious to enjoy the following video. Yo, what's up, dudes? It's El Toro Ryan. I'm here with Uncle Nate. I just took the McLovin. Yeah. feel way better. That's gross, Uncle Nate. So. <laughs> Anyways, oh my god, we're I'm here on. Mount Olympus. I'm we really, got Hades. Oh. I'm really pissed though because like I don't know these pit vipers. They used to be a thing, but now everybody has them. Nah, man. I'm nah. So mad. It, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> little twelve-year-olds. Like why do they have pit vipers? Oh, it's a little. It's stupid. stupid. Oh, yeah. oh I want to like punch them in the face, but Yo, I so, still need them for kitty credits. Anyways, we got a sweet day for you. We're at Mount Olympus. Day. Me and Uncle Nate have already been here before. We're going to get this loser on Haiti. Yeah, I got to try it out. I've never been on it. Uncle Nate has, though. He My says it's pretty dope. Hurts. Oh, dude, I hear you. And later on after this, we're going to go to Bay Beach. We're going to go ride Zip and Pippin. So. Elvis' favorite coaster. Safety. Safety. Anyways, let's go. So what was the cost we paid to get in here? Seven dollars a person, twenty bucks. Yeah, twenty bucks for actually four tickets, which you don't need this the fourth ticket, and then twenty bucks for parking. I was pissed about that. It's like, it was free last year. It's like how much money we spent at Taco Bell last night, like on our, our dinner. Yeah, all <laughs> like, three crazy. of the Wisconsin parks are dirt cheap. Because Zip and Pippin, you can ride for a dollar per ride. In Little America, you can get all four credits for eight bucks. So we won't be riding Cyclops today. I guess that gives me a reason to come back. Check this out. I can just go and touch the track if I want. You guys think this is opening today? Yeah, yeah, probably. Open by three okay, word. I hope they don't change the profiling on it. It's just funny to me that a park that is kind of known for not doing any maintenance on their rides, trains, track, or otherwise, just fully decides to just completely reach track all the time. They're doing a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the line for Hades? No. Uh, it's the line, line for everyone to go to the water park, and then we'll sit on Hades waiting for people to come. If you guys look real close, you can see they've actually changed the profiling on this airtime hill. So the old holes there and the new holes. That's um, too bad because this thing had crazy ejector air time through the whole ride. Yeah, but with the drop not as steep, I don't know if you're gonna get much. I've always heard this place is like a sh holiday world. It's like filled with wooden coasters, right? Yep. But they're all closed. Hit hell freeze over. It's a bucket list ride for me. Dude, you're gonna love it. Yeah, this ride's awesome. Don't <laughs> know how many people talk about it. did it, Mangs. I finally rode Hades. And um, I'm honestly a little underwhelmed at the moment, but I mean, it's, you guys said it's running slow, right? It's the first ride of the day, dude. Yeah. Right. It's we got row 10, though, which is good. It's still intense. That tunnel's Yo, the tunnels were, like, insane. That's one of, like, the loudest things, too. Like, just, like, the, the roar of the train in the tunnel. It's not like there's a lot of air time down there, but there's, like, a few lateral moments, and it's just, like, uh, outer bank turn is pretty yeah, cool. Dude. Yeah, dude. The, the hand chopper coming out of the roll. <laughs> that was on the right That's side. Like yeah. <laughs> it just comes in your face like that. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hit up Zeus now. No, we're going to Pegasus now. Oh. No, Zeus. Sorry. Zeus. Okay. Zeus. Yeah. I'll, straight. I'll check back in later for Pegasus.
check out the rot on these trains. <laughs> High key, I actually like Zeus more than Hades right now. Air time is <laughs> it's so much air time. And the trains are like falling apart. Like each piece of the train is rotting. You can see the wood rotting and stuff. Oh, yeah, there's missing bolts and stuff on the train. And the brake run's like 40 feet long. Yeah, the so brake run is not long enough. <laughs> The whole train is like off the track because it stops so quick. So when the brakes release, it just drops back onto the track. It's so funny. They barely make it up the hill. Like 40 years old. Like laughably slow. The kings definitely go faster than this shit. Be ready later. Yeah, later today. Yeah. They're pretty good at maintenance here. Yeah, yeah. They only do like one hour of maintenance every six months. Yeah. God damn. This place even has some random theming thrown in. Stuff, you know? Yeah, it's not bad theming. <laughs> it looks nice. How are the bathrooms here? Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> and honestly, guys, like not even kidding, this is the ride I've been most excited for at this park. This turn, man. I need to see this turn and feel it for myself. Illegal banking. 100%. It's like a complete death earthquake turn. Yeah. Like, well, this is kind of funny. That's the seat though. <laughs> you know, maybe what they could do is just take the train from Cyclops and put it on this real quick. Yeah. I mean, they're <laughs> both this. CCIs. Yeah, they're both CCIs, it. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just take the train from train. Cyclops and push it somewhere else. Update. They decided to send the train anyway with that seatbelt wrapped around the train link. It was probably hitting like the chain lift and like the anti rollbacks and the brakes and everything. Final destination We were like, are we gonna derail? She. That roller coaster is worse than I remember Dude. it. Yeah. That's that was one of the worst roller coasters I've ever been. I actually really liked it. It was so <laughs> shitty that I loved it. Yeah, it <laughs> Every turn is like, do, <laughs> do. <laughs> actually, that last turn into the brake run was like the the most comfortable turn on the ride. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> the other ones are just crazy. Honestly, I'd be down to do that again. I'll do it by myself if you guys want to I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that again. I'm We've gonna... already run it twice now, so. I have more desire to ride that again than Hades, which is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. Yeah. I actually had a terrible headache coming into this park. I didn't sleep that well last night. And then, <laughs> feel too good on Zeus or Hades. The Pegasus, man, I'm feeling good now. I feel great. What the f does that happen? <laughs> Pegasus has healed all your wounds. Yeah, dude, and, like, seriously, that ride's got magic to it. It's got some healing like godlike powers. This is the only rule on Mount Olympus. Other than that, you can do what you want. <laughs> Okay, oh I get it now. <laughs> that was so much better than before. Yeah, but it's only better than water. I felt like I was going to hell on those tunnels, dude. Like we were just going to the center of the earth. And I was like, yeah! Man, this is awesome. I was like giggling like, like a five-year-old coming out of those tunnels. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've never heard you giggle like that on a ride before. I don't think I've ever heard you do that. That was awesome, dude. And I know I'm having a good time too because I'm bleeding. <laughs> I got a huge cut in my arm. I'm bleeding! Ah! I'm bleeding! Oh no! Ha <laughs> ha!
Beba. <laughs> this is the coolest thing you've ever done. Yeah, that sign is really accurate. It's super aggressive. Not the most airtime on a gravity group, honestly, but just like the ride is insane. It's so intense. I love how there's just like a random piece of wood sticking out on the track. This park rules. Yeah, they can fix all side costs, but they can fix one tiny little wood stick piece sticking out. I love it. <laughs> We just did row four and row three. How is the front rougher than the back? Why is that a thing? <laughs> it's like way rougher in the front than the back. <laughs> I was flying out of my seat the whole time though. So the, the ride's yeah. really good, so good the front. The airtime is really fly. powerful, but <laughs> man, my headache is back. I gotta go back on Pegasus, guys. I gotta get rid of this headache. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I'll sit yeah. in the seat without a cushion. Yeah, update, they removed the seat cushion. Yeah. <laughs> this park is the best. Yeah. yeah, man. This park is awesome. Like, here's the, the bottom of the first drop of Zeus where trains fly by at their fastest. And this is the fence that keeps you from going over there. See, I'm about five foot seven. This fence is maybe like four foot tall. You can easily get up here. Just climb around, do whatever you want. And the only rule of this park is when you're in the station, you stay behind the yellow line. But other than that, you can do whatever the hell you want here. McLovin, yeah. we, we could just high five the train when it comes down the drop. Yeah, it's like riding Gemini. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know, there's very two different kind of ride operators at this park. The ones that will shove the lap bar like so tight into you. Um, and they're just like, it's gotta be tight. This ride goes upside down. And then the other operator, if you just leave the lap bar like at the, the minimum position possible, like super high off off you, they just pull and they pull at it and they don't push <laughs> it down at all and that's it. They're just trying to make sure it's locked. Yeah, so. and then there's the ones that'll just like barely tap your lap bar if it's yeah. like the minimum position. Like, yeah. oh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> this park's awesome. Yeah. Man. You guys gotta come out here. <laughs> hey, what you got there, Uncle Nate? <laughs> Something that fell off of Hades. It's mine now. <laughs> I guess it wasn't important. No, it's not. It's still yeah. running. Right, so. still holding together. It's mine. Yeah, we're looking around to see if there's any missing nuts and bolts. We'll just screw that piece back in. It'd be pretty easy to do it, honestly. You just like pop this little fence that they have here, put it on. You'd have a lot of time to do it too, since they never send trains out. <laughs> you know, you'd be able to take your time, yeah. put it in place, torque it. Yeah. We'll go to the tool store. We'll get get a torque wrench, make sure it's torqued properly, and then the next train will come. That that catwalk right there gives you like the best head chopper, hand chopper element on like any coaster. You come flipping out of this roll, and then this handrail is just sticking in your face. It's so sick. That dispatch wasn't too bad. The last one was at 11.48. Now it's 11.57. Just nine minutes, it's not bad. All right, so the last train dropped off the lift hill at about 11.57. So I'm guessing probably at like 12.06, 12.07, probably 12.10, we'll see the next train. I love the theming though. It's really cool. Get to dive back into here, back into the tunnel that takes you to hell. Those go-karts over there are really funny. The carts are so slow now that they rerouted the track so that it doesn't go through this like crazy helix and like through the top of the horse here, through the middle of the horse. Because of the lack of power, they rerouted the path so they just go under it. Because otherwise you'd just be like slowly crawling to the top. And they're advertising their go-karts, man. World's uh, slowest go-karts. Wow, they exceeded expectations. Next train's coming, it's only 12.02. It's only been like five minutes. That's pretty good. Terrible for another park, but great for here. Uh, 3.6 Ronkin, but that's as high as the meter. 3.6. Not great, not terrible. <laughs> pretty cool thing too. You're standing out here at the exit of this tunnel. You can actually feel the ground vibrating under you from the train just like roaring through as it either heads out of hell or heads back into it. It's pretty sick. All right, Hades dispatch update. It's now 12.08, so it's been six minutes since the last dispatch, but they won't be breaking their record. But we'll see how long this one goes. Maybe it'll be the longest dispatch. That rule where they have to fill up all the seats is really killing it. What is it, one through nine or one through 10 they have to fill up? I think, yeah, I think like nine rows they have to fill up at least. And they lowered this hill here too. This hill is the one here. At this one, this one used to be the problem, but they lowered it substantially, but I don't really know. Hey, at least they take care of their coasters though, to an extent. Putting a lot of new track on Cyclops. And Zeus is butter smooth right now. 
Yeah, it's not like, bad. It's one of the smoothest woodies out there. <laughs> Pegasus is like butter smooth. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Hades dispatch update. 12-11, uh, coming up on nine minutes now. So it's even longer than that other one that I was hyped for. So now we're going for the longest dispatch. Yeah, just waiting for Hades. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do, we're bored. <laughs> we're bored. Picking grass. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, me. We almost decided to walk to Culver's and maybe get We some thought food. about it. We probably would have made it in <laughs> time for the back. next train. We were even saying that we could probably go ride Zeus, get a lap on Zeus, com comfortably come back. I think it might have actually. No. 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 Nah, it's, it's uh, what, 12 14 now? Can you guys see that? Yeah, so it's been about. When was the last train? 12 02? Yeah, it's been like 12 yeah. minutes now. 12 minutes since the last one. That's all good. It's actually coming. Oh, it's, uh, yep, 15 minutes. Uh, it's uh, 12 17. 15 minutes. Yeah. That car is just sending it backwards, man. Like, this place is great. There goes McLovin. Fresh out of the water park. We're real heat exhausted now because it's like in the 90s today. She did front row in Hades. I rode it twice at a row eight and row one. It's like a boxing match, dude. That ride's insane. That is one of the most aggressive roller coasters out there. Oh my god, I feel I feel bad. We're rolling out of Mount Olympus right now. That park's a workout. Between the woodies and the oppressive heat and the hills, you're really gonna feel a whole lot, a lot of tiredness after that. All the woodies beat you up, especially Hades and Pegasus. I mean, if you're not me, Peg if you're me, Pegasus gives you life. Um, but for everyone else, if you get off Hades, you're like f***ed up. And then you have to walk up the hill like, to see Pill get out of the park. Crazy, man, this park's- It's like, a good park still. It's a great park, but yeah, man, you walk out tired. <laughs> like you just got punched like so many times in the gut. And we were only like, there for four hours. We're gonna head over to Bay Beach. And Culver's. And Culver's. Get some good cheese curds. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm tired. Oh, it's Pegasus. That's the gem of this park for me.